Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and today I'm going to help you frustrated golfers try and get out of a bunker. It's not that hard, and I'm going to show you some easy ways that you can work to practice getting the ball out of the bunker. So if this is your first time to this channel, welcome. This channel is all about helping you play better golf and lowering your golf score. So if you want to lower your score, consider subscribing to my channel where you'll get notified of every single tip that I uh, deliver every Monday, Melbourne time of course. So hit the subscribe button, click the bell notification and you will be notified. Damn bunker shots. I see so many people and so many of my clients say if only they could get out of a bunker they'd have a good score. And really bunker shots aren't that hard. It's, it seems it, but I would much prefer to be in this position in a bunker than actually trying to play a chip shot. I've got more chance of getting it closer. So there are things that we need to do to help get the ball out of the bunker. And the first thing I'm gonna get you to do, this is aimed at the person that's absolutely positively struggling to get the ball out. So the first thing I want you to do is I actually want you to practice getting sand out of the bunker in the first place. So we just take a setup. I do want your nose to be level with the ball and not behind. The ball is just slightly forward of centre, but I just want to see you practice. Have a practice swing and try and get some sand out onto the putting surface. So it's get sand out. If I decelerate, the sand's not going to come out. So I do want to get you accelerating, not unbelievably rapidly, just a nice acceleration and getting some positive energy through the shot to make sure that we get sand out of the bunker. The second thing I want you to try and do is learn to use your hands. I see a lot of people struggling to get out of the bunker and they're trying to keep their wrists out of the shot. It almost looks like they're trying to chip the ball out of the bunker. Now that can work occasionally, but if you hit the ball slightly behind and you're using stiff wrists, as soon as that happens, the sand kills the speed of the golf club and you're gonna hit it fat and you're gonna decelerate and the ball is gonna stay in the bunker. So we need to help with a bit of acceleration. So I like to use my hands. That's not to say that we're gonna be flipping wrists. We're just using the hands. So you can see there what my hands are doing as opposed to everything being stiff. So we wanna help let the hands get used. That's gonna help give the ball some elevation. So if we can get used to getting the sand out, and as we do that, I really want you to feel that your chest is forward and over your left side of your body. We certainly don't want to start falling back. That's a, a huge mistake. And I've made a video on the biggest mistakes that I see people make in bunkers. And I'll put a link up to the top of the page there. And that is one of those things. So all we're gonna do after we've done our practice of getting used to hitting the sand, splashing the sand out, we're starting to use our hands just a little bit. I'm now gonna put the ball down it's slightly forward of center. I'm gonna make sure I'm using a big enough swing to help get the ball out. And I hit the shot and that's gone about three foot right of the hole. It came out, you heard that sound. I think that was that rock that I just hit, which uh, I didn't realize was in there, but the ball came out. I didn't smash it, but I did get sand out as well. So if you can implement those few little strategies, I'm sure it's gonna help you enormously in getting the ball out of the bunker. So thank you for letting me help you with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and I'll look forward to seeing you in my next video.